hey what's going on you guys this is Madam Mini one and I'm coming back to you again this is gonna be a short video um, this is just an update on the healthy Holly scandal uh, former mayor Catherine Pugh she has been indicted on 11 counts um, and she is due to appear in court in a couple of days I'm sorry tomorrow she's due to appear in um, court tomorrow on that 11 count indictment um, the rabbit hole goes much deeper I'm going to play the video video and then I'm going to give my opinion on the indictment and everything after it so here we go we're here today to announce the federal indictment of former Baltimore City Mayor Catherine Pugh. The 11 count indictment of Catherine Pugh, revealed by federal authorities this morning, follows what we now know to be a three year long investigation of the former state senator and mayor's financial dealings. Ms. Pugh blurred the lines between her public duties and private business. The indictment accuses Catherine Pugh of using her Healthy Holly children's books as a ruse to get money from institutions and nonprofits that didn't know where their payments were really going. This is a tragedy and the last thing that our city needs. Pugh is accused of funneling $35,000 in book proceeds to her 2016 campaign for mayor using the names of fake donors. She also spent book money, the indictment says, on the purchase and renovation of her Northwest Baltimore house paid for in cash. Then, using longtime aide Gary Brown, the indictment says, Pew created a fake paper trail of business expenses to avoid paying taxes. Brown has pleaded guilty in the case. In other words, her taxable income was more than 10 times what she reported the IRS for that year, and she owed over 20 times more in taxes than she actually paid for that year. Pew, the indictment says, stash books in her home, cars, her office, even the War Memorial Building, double selling some books that went to the school system, failing to deliver others at all. One book buyer, according to the indictment, was a city contractor who knew his check for books was illegally funding Pew's campaign. He has not been charged. We'll rest assured that we are continuing to look at all the potential uh, criminal charges that can be filed in this investigation. At this point, there is no allegation in this case of misuse of public funds. Catherine Pugh will be here in federal court tomorrow. I asked her attorney if she would plead guilty in this case. He said he would address that in court. Reporting live tonight from the federal courthouse, I'm Jane Miller, WBAL TV 11 News. Jane, thank you. Looking back at this tumultuous year for Catherine Pugh, back in March, Pugh, along with others, resigned from the UMMS board. In addition, the former mayor returned a $100,000 payment to that board. On April 1st, Catherine Pugh took an indefinite leave of absence for health reasons, she said. And over the next few days, Jack Young stepped in as the ex officio mayor at the time, and the entire city hall called for Pugh to resign as mayor. On April 25th, the FBI and the IRS raided Pew's home, City Hall, and other locations as part of the federal investigation into her business dealings. And on May 2nd, Catherine Pugh resigned as mayor of Baltimore City, the announcement made through her attorney. Okay, so that's the end of the um, video um, WBAL. I'm pretty sure that um, all the other news stations are going to speak about it, but WBAL is the first one that I've seen to actually speak on it. Um, I may be wrong at this time of me recording the video, but this is the first one that I've seen. Um, basically, the thing is basically just, just saying what I said in previous videos that I've done on this, the Healthy Holly scandal. Um, essentially, I feel like they threw her under the bus. Yes, she is guilty. Yes, she was a willing participant and she knew exactly what she was doing. By any means, I'm not trying to take that out of the equation, but you have to understand the lowest person on the totem pole is going to receive the most charges. And it's not something as simple as, you know, uh, you, 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 M, M, S, them not knowing what the fuck was going on because several members that were on the board also resigned um, as uh, at the same time that 
Mayor, uh, former mayor Catherine Pugh did. So it's basically, you know, we can't afford our reputation to be fucked up. We can't get caught in the scandal. We have millions of contracts all over the world um, with different people, and we cannot afford to, um, you know, fuck that up just because we was trying to bring you on and you was sloppy you was messy and that's basically what happened for real um you're not gonna get me to believe in a million years that it was just her and a couple of folks that were on the board that was doing that um deals get done every day deals been getting done every day since the establishment of this town okay and I do say town. Um, so, um, basically, I'm not surprised. Um, she's going to be the scapegoat for this. They're going to indict her. They're going to... She's not going to get out of this. Um, unless she's willing to give somebody up, higher up on the totem pole, and have cooperating evidence for that, whereas though it's undisputable... Um, she's going the fuck down. It is what it is. Um, I never really too much liked her campaign that she ran on. Like I stated before in previous videos, um, even when she was running for mayor, there was a lot of, uh, controversy and issues associated with the campaign and her and, you know, the people that she was paying to, you know, um, get her face out there, as they say, and promote her for uh, Baltimore City Mayor. So, I mean, she was underhanded and cr uh, crooked-minded, you know, even before she was elected, for real. Um, as far as I'm concerned, everybody on the city council, you know... They know what the fuck is going on. They're no different than Baltimore City Police. Um, it's people that's in the police department. And it's people on the city council that, that knows what the fuck is going on. And nobody wants to speak out because they want to keep their job. They want to keep their tenure. They want to keep their pension. They want to keep all the little benefits that they get as a city official. Um, and some people are just scared to speak out. Some people just don't want to speak out because... They don't want anything bad to happen to them or, you know, um, any hardships to befall them, which, I mean, I guess is understandable. But at the end of the day, you're not doing us in the city of Baltimore any fucking type of help. You know what I'm saying? Like, we coming up on 300 bodies for the year and um you know it's just sad like that's just that's a, that's a side note like you know and then it's always the backlash with that but you know we have people out here that's big, pretty much defrauding the system they're in the city council um they're in the commissioner's office they're in the, like they're every fucking way every facet of government in baltimore and in maryland they're there and everybody knows about them and nobody wants to challenge them because nobody wants that type of problems. You know what I'm saying? Like anytime, um, a person can get killed. Um, let me use an example. Um, the police, uh, sudden, um, that they claim that committed suicide just out of no fucking way. Like he was just, that the press, even though there's no, there's no evidence to prove that this nigga was depressed or his wife never said he was depressed and this nigga had made future plans that hadn't even came up and just all of a sudden he just all went off and killed his fucking self. Us that live here in Baltimore know what the fuck happened. Or have an idea of what the fuck happened. And trust me, it ain't what the fuck they putting out there in the news. So, and, th and, that, and that happens in every city. Every city. But this is just Baltimore. You know? Some people are more better of hiding the shit that they do than others. 
Let me just say that. But anyway, um, back on topic. Um, she's going to get prosecuted. She's going to get held, quote unquote, accountable. Um, it's going to look good on somebody's resume that they did this or whatever. And and some small thought in the back of their mind, they probably feel like justice is being served. When in reality, justice will never be served until you lock up and prosecute each and every one of the people that have done wrong, took in bribes, uh, elevated certain people and certain officials that didn't deserve it or earn it. And until that happens, it's going to be fucking business as usual. So, um, with that being said, I'm Madam81. I thank you so much for taking the time out for watching this video. I am always grateful for anyone that clicks that play button, even if it's 30 seconds, even if it's 3 seconds. I'm happy for that. Please don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. And drop down in the comment section and tell me what's on your mind. You know, you don't have to talk about this. You can talk about whatever's on your mind. And I will address it in due, pro in due time. So, until then, you guys.